Right, today we're going to make a dead bait trace for pike fishing. And I've laid out everything here that we're going to need to make one. So I've chosen Fox 40 pound wire, which is my favourite, with some crimps to match, some nice strong swivels, a Fox large safety sleeve, some bait fins, some size 4 trebles, uh, which I like for sort of most of my pike fishing, some wire cutters, and a crimping tool. That's everything you're going to need. Right, let's get one made. Right, first of all, we need to cut around 18 inches of trace wire from the spool so that we end up with a nice long trace, which helps protect against all them big old teeth on big pike that we're hopefully going to catch. Now to cut this 49 strand wire, you need to heat it with a lighter because otherwise it will fray when you cut it. So you just heat up a little section till it glows red, like so. And then you cut where you've heated with the lighter and you get a nice sealed joint, which will hopefully go through a crimp nice and easy, rather than being all frayed and horrible. So, get a crimp ready and a treble hook. Thread the crimp on first, through there like that, followed by a hook. You get the tag end, go through the crimp once like that. And then, for a bit of extra security, we go back through the crimp again. So there's three pieces of wire through there, makes it a bit stronger. So it looks like that. And you pull it all down. Pull that down so you've got a small loop. So you've got a little bit of movement there. Pull the tag end down. Let's close that loop down to the top. And that's ready for you to crimp. Got the Fox Rage crimpers. I use the front end. Just make sure that's central in the slot. Like that. And squeeze down as hard as you can. So that it's crimped down really well. I use two hands for that. Just carefully take it out of there and trim this tag end. You can go as tight as you like on there and trim it down. Like that. That's the first part done. That's nice and strong that. Then you need your next treble. Ready to thread on. Put that on there, like so. And you want about three to four inches, depending on the size of bait. I always try and keep them fairly consistent. So about that, about a four inch gap, which suits sort of your average bait. If you're using sort of six to seven inch baits, maybe half a mackerel tail or a smelt, that type of thing. And then it's a bit like a knotless knot that you'd use on a carp rig. So you lay the trace along there. It's coming out the eye. Pull it back down while keeping it tight. Round the bend. And you go round the shank of the hook twice. Then three times. Pinch it in place. Pass the end of your trace wire back through the eye. So that's on there, all neat like that, holding it all in place, like so. Then you get a Fox large safety sleeve. I like to thread this on before I put my swivel on. Like 
like so. You need to get yourself another crimp and your swivel. And that's just starting to fray on there a little bit, so I'm just going to burn it and cut it again to make sure it's nice and neat because you won't be able to get a frayed end through the crimp. So if not, just heat that a bit more. If you just heat that until it glows and cut it off neat like that, go through the crimp a lot easier. Thread your crimp on first, followed by a swivel. Just like putting your hook on the first time. Thread that through there. Then back through for a bit of security. So it's through the wires through three times. So it looks like that again. Settle it all down. That's ready to crimp into position. Exactly the same as before in the front slot on, on the pliers. Making sure it's central. Give it a good squeeze, two hands. Never ever, I always test these, it's never let me down. This crimping is super strong. Trim that tag end off. That's it. That sleeve, once I've clipped my swivel onto my quick change link, which is stays on my braid, that sleeve then pushes up to cover that all neat, helps stop tangles. And one final thing I like to do get some red bait fins. And I like to put them on the barbed, because these are semi-barbed, only one of these points has got a barb on. I like to put the bait flags on the barbed hook, because it's the barbed hook that you put in the bait. So if I'm setting up in the half light, I can see which point I need rather than trying to have a look so I don't even need a torch to see what I'm doing I can find the, the hook that's got the barb on it to put into the bait before I cast out and an added bonus is if you happen to drop your rig on the floor like in amongst the long grass which happens typically when you're fishing you can see it these stand out these red flags so you can pick it up and get on with your fishing and that's it only took a few minutes to tie one very simple rig. Once you've a bit of practice, doesn't take too long at all. And just to keep them all neat, I use a fox rig bin like this, which you can see is well used. I always keep about half a dozen traces on there. So yeah, get tying them up, ready for your next session. Lovely old job.